This is my daily routine. I wake around 9.30. My wife is usually up and gone by this point. I check my email and news from bed. Then I go make coffee. This in many ways is the most important part of the day. While I wait for it to brew, I check my email on my phone. Sometimes I shower, but usually I do this later in the day. Oftentimes I eat breakfast, and often that breakfast is cereal, which is one of my favorite foods. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day, but sometimes I don't eat it until lunch and or dinner. Once my coffee is ready, I go back to work in my office. I'm an editor by trade, and sometimes I have to go somewhere to work with a client, but more often than not, I work from home. I have a nice system in my office, which I use for editing. I use my laptop almost exclusively for writing, which I also do in my office, sometimes in my purple beanbag chair, or on the couch in the living room, or back in bed. Often when I'm writing, I'm not actually writing, but checking my email and perusing the internet. I don't mean to add to the myriad charges against the web on behalf of productivity, other than to say that the accusations are true. When I'm at my best, I use a program called Mac Freedom to block the internet completely. When I'm at my worst, I forget that it's even an option. At the moment, I'm working on one screenplay for myself, and treatment for other films that I'm writing for other parties. I've also been working on rewrites for my next film, which we're hoping to shoot in the spring of next year. My producers and I have regular development meetings about this film. Sometimes when I think about it, I feel like this. I try to take a lazy Susan approach and work on every project in my plate a little bit each day. Days where I'm able to do this are good days indeed, but usually my attention is monopolized by one thing. When I write, I listen to music. Lately, I've developed a habit of putting on a movie in the background, sometimes with the director's commentary track running. These movies are usually American. It's hard for me to break my day into a narrative arc. I usually drink about five cups of coffee over the course of the morning and afternoon. By the end of the traditional workday, which is a concept I do not subscribe to, I'm usually frustrated and feeling a bit off from staring at a screen all day. This is when I go for a run. Lately, I've been training for a marathon and running between five and ten miles a day. Running is when I have all of my best ideas. When I have a bad day, running makes everything click into place in just the right way, especially when it's cold out. When I get home, I shower. I eat. My wife is often home by now and we talk and do things together. Sometimes we watch a movie. My wife goes to bed around midnight or one and I usually curl up in bed with her until she falls asleep. Sometimes I fall asleep too. But usually I get up and keep writing or watching or working on this thing or that thing until two or three in the morning. The last thing I do is read. Someone once told me that it's best to read first thing in the morning because it shades the rest of your day. I do it at night just to get ahead.